in your whole walk, walking with the Lord, have you witnessed any sign, wonder, or miracle you'd like to share? Yeah. So um, last last summer, uh, I I have a, a great opportunity for going on four years now. Um, been able to DJ for a camp uh, in Oklahoma, and uh, last year. A buddy of mine, Cole Abel, and I were uh, out there as we have been in the years past. And um, the speaker uh, went by the name of DJ. Um, he he was just he was just really dope. Like you could just tell, like this man ain't trying to play around with God, and at the same time, he also not trying to mess with you if you're trying to play around with God. And so um, it was great to to have that kindred spirit. Um, and typically, when we are um, when we're put on the campus, um, we're not normally with the speaker, but this time we were all in the same dorm room. And so that was really cool. And, uh, the week went on and it was great. God's doing his thing. Um, and then one of the services and, and what was cool about the way that DJ did things, because again, back to like how you can get this like emotional, like high, yeah. right. Especially while you're in the middle of camp and stuff every night, um, after the last, uh, service together, you're supposed to go to your small groups and, you know, chop it up and, you know, digest everything that went on and process it. And so every night, you know, he would tell people, of course, there's dedications happening, right? The people are giving their lives, people are getting healed. There's all these different things. And so, um, but this, uh, it, uh, and normally every night he would tell everybody, you know, Hey, we're going to keep our emotions in check, right? Yes. The Holy spirit can be working on you, but we're, we're not going to lose our minds go ahead and make sure you go to your small groups. Well, this night in particular, um, it was just like the God's presence was just thick, right? Uh, two C's. <laughs> uh, it was just, it was thick. And so, um, so as I was sitting, uh, it, it's auditorium seating. Um, I'm sitting next to Cole. I'm sitting in the back, right? Way, way up top. And um, I just felt this like prompting. Okay. Now, now I can say prompting before it's just, I just had this like weird thought of like, Hey, why don't you go stand up in the back? And I'm I'm sitting comfortable, and I'm like, nah, why am I gonna stay? No, I'm I'm right here, I'm good. And then a couple more moments go by. Hey, why don't you go stand in the back? And I finally I turn around and I'm looking, and I'm like, there's nothing even back there. Why why would I go? No, nah, I'm good. I'm chilling, right? Some more time goes by, and then finally I'm like, I I guess I'm apparently I'm I'm gonna go stand in the back, right? So I stand up, start stretching, I go chill in the back, and during this time, um. You know, pray, the the worship band is playing. Uh, playing, he uh, DJ had just got done uh, sharing his testimony, uh, which was amazing, and 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 whole different cool things about that. Um, so I'm standing in the back, I'm listening to him, I'm just chilling back there, and um, eventually DJ makes his way upstairs, and so he comes upstairs, and um, you know, he just gives me a handshake, like right, we see one another, and we're like, man, praise God, right, and so we you know, we dap it up. And what I, what I didn't say was out of nowhere in the last, I don't know, two or three years, I've been having like extreme pain in my knees, uh, more specifically my right knee. And really honestly, just like my, my patella is just like super weak. Like the, all the, the muscles around my, my knees have been banged up from all the dancing and tumbling and everything else. And, uh, just not, you know, treating it. And so, um, you know, Normally, I'm very aware of there's still some pain there, right? So he dasks me up and, you know, hey, praise God. And he he makes his way back down. And, and as he's going down, he goes uh, back on the mic and he's like, hey, I just feel like, you know, we're supposed to be praying for healing, you know, right now. And so we're going to take this time or whatever. So as he's doing that and he's, you know, saying, hey, does anybody want to come down and pray, you know, to get received for healing or whatever? And in my head, I'm like, nah, just let these kids, you know, let 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 these people hear be served, right? Like I'm good. Like, yes, mm -hmm. I, I know I would like healing, but I, I'm not even thinking about it. Right. Like I was legit, legit, not even praying for healing of any sort. Right. But then like, as he's talking, I'm like, man, my knee feels really good. Like, like it was just this weird, like tingling sensation that is just like, just feels good. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, I just went from like, Hey, that used to hurt to like, Hmm, this is different. So I'm chilling and time goes on, time goes on. And I'm like, I don't know why, but my knee's feeling extra good. Like what's going on? And so uh, in my head, I started thinking like, I'm pretty sure God just must, might have just healed my, yep. my knee right now. Right. So the end of service happens. And I'm talking about this is like at least 30 minutes from the time that I've dapped him up. Right. Um, and the service happens. Everybody finally clears out. 
you know, uh, again, God's presence super thick. So Cole and I, we, we were just standing in the back, just staring at a blank stage. Everybody had already been gone. And we're just taking this deep breath of like, man, like just taking it all in. Right. But in my head, my brain's racing like crazy going, I'm pretty sure God just healed my knee, but I hadn't said anything to him yet. Right. So we go down the stairs because in my mind, I'm like, I might've got healed, but I'm going to go, I'm going to figure this out. Like I got, I got Gideon's faith. Like, <laughs> let me, let me yeah. test this out. Like, Lord, yeah. you go on you go, you got to make yeah. the fleece wet and yeah. everything else dry. Like that's, that was me. Right. So I'm like, okay, let me, maybe I was feeling good, but let me go down these steps. Crunch. Right. Cause obviously my knees go yeah, over my toes. Feel I'm feel crunch it. every step. And <laughs> I'm going down the steps and I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure God just healed my knee. Right. So I'm just, it feels good. And from where we were to the dorm was a nice, nice little hike. And so we're going down, still hasn't said a word to one another. Right. And so we're just walking, walking. But again, in my mind, you know, going down some more steps and each step, I'm like, man, I'm pretty sure God just healed my knee. So I start talking to Cole about just, you know, the night. I, I haven't even told him about my knee yet. I'm just like, I, I don't know. So I'm not going to say nothing. Right. I'm not going to get ahead of God. I'm just going to see. So we get all the way to the dorm and we're about to go up the steps. And I'm like, man, as I go up the steps, it feels good. I'm pretty sure God just healed my knee, right? Still haven't said a word to Cole. We get in the dorm room, you know, unpacking, whatever, chilling. Um, and I'm standing in my room and and he's kind of in like the foyer area, whatever. And I stand there and I'm like, hey, bro, I'm pretty sure God healed my knee. He's like, okay. So I do like a couple squats and I'm like, no, nah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure God just healed my knee because this wasn't bothering me at all. Now, for two years at least straight, if I lay on my back, right, with both my knees bent, I, this is how weak it was. I can't, I couldn't even extend my knee, right? Like I couldn't be in a tuck position mm. and just extend my knee. That's just how much pain it was. And I, I yeah. didn't, had no strength to do it, right? So I lay on the couch. I'm like, all right, bro, this, this is the actual test because this is where I haven't been able to do it. I get on my back and then boom, <laughs> shoot my leg up. And I was like, Whoa. Just kept doing it and doing it. And I get up and I'm like, yo, I, I, oh, and I did that one time. I was like, bro, I'm pretty sure. I just sat up really quick. I was like, bro, I'm pretty sure God just healed my knee. So he smiles, and I was like, all right. Maybe the couch was just really comfortable. I lay on the floor. I do the same thing. Same test. Boom. I get up. And I, I sit up real fast. I'm like, bro, I'm pretty sure. Now, obviously, every single time I'm saying this, this is getting louder and louder. I'm like, I'm pretty sure God just healed my knee. And so he starts kind of chuckling because he's like, okay, man, right? So I'm like, all right, but now I got to do another test. I go, actually, I go get this hoodie on because I had a white shirt and I was, I was going to go ahead and do a windmill. And I was like, oh, I don't want to mess up my white shirt on this floor while I'm testing. So, uh, so I go and get my, get this on. I go to do a certain move that again, I haven't been able to do at all. They're like pain free, let alone just at all. And I was able to hit it. And I was like, bro, I'm pretty <laughs> sure God just healed my knee. And he starts laughing. He's like, bro, I, I know he did. I'm just waiting <laughs> yeah. for you to catch up. And so it, and so, yeah, so it was just, it was cool. God, God healed my knee. I told my wife the whole story and then, you know, uh, on the phone and she's like, well, are you pretty sure that God healed your knee? And I said, yes. yes. I love that. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty sure God healed my knee. And so, um, so that was, that was, that's the most recent, uh, I mean, there, obviously there's so many different times, but that's the most recent, um, that really sticks out to me as a, to what God did. And, and I think what stuck out more than anything else is mm -hmm. that I didn't ask for it. Like, it wasn't on my heart. It wasn't something that I've been praying. It's not like I've been going to like mini altar calls so that people could pray for my knee. Um, you know, it was just kind of more, and especially being a coach, I'm like, no, I just need to strengthen up my quad. I got to do this. I got to do, it. you know, I'm thinking of that. And it was just really cool that something as subtle as, Hey, why don't you go stand mm -hmm. in the back? And just so that DJ who at that point already had the healing power on him, right before he had even announced that we were going to be praying for healing. And then all I do is just dap him up. And then for whatever reason, without even asking, like I was healed in that moment, like that yep. blows my mind that God is, is so for you and so wants to take care of you that even when you're not asking about how to take He's care of it. yourself, mm. that God's yep. still like, yep. nah, I got you. 